This is every country with a chess opening, and I'm gonna explain every single one, starting with the American opening. In the land of freedom and guns, the opening is unfortunately kinda mid. Uh, white starts with pawn to d4, black goes pawn to f5, the Dutch defense, and we actually play a gambit with pawn to e4, completely letting black capture here, and here the key move is a knight out to d2. This is the American attack, you attack this pawn with the knight, just why would you go here instead of knight c3, because you, you block in the bishop which is just annoying. Other than that though, you'll probably play f3 to attack the pawn and you actually have a decent gambit setup. Canadian opening. They say Canada is basically just America too and uh, this might actually prove that because the opening is very similar. Once again, white goes pawn to d4, in this case black goes knight to f6, but we have that same signature move, knight out to d2 which is it, it's fine it supports a very strong pawn to e4 push however once again it blocks in the bishop and if black goes pawn to d5 to protect that uh this is just kind of awkward mexican defense this one is a very unique opening white goes pawn to d4 we respond knight to f6 the indian game which will come up later uh white now plays pawn to c4 and normally here um, black plays a pawn move, e6, d5, c5, but here we play the other knight, which looks very odd because white can now push again with d5, it looks like we're just getting kicked around, which we are, but the knight will actually end up going to g6, um, these pawns actually might prove to be overextended, and this is a very fun and unique opening. And also I just need to say that Mexican food is the number one food in the world by far, and you can disagree with me, but I am simply correct. Guatemalan defense. No hate to anyone from Guatemala, but your opening is some hot garbage, because it's actually terrible. Let me just show you. First you play b6, which is, it's, it's an okay move to move the bishop to b7. b7, right? <laughs> no, because after white goes pawn to d4, you go bishop a6, which is just, why? Why would you do this to yourself? White captures, what? What? What is your net? This is this is trash. This is a terrible opening. Peruvian opening. Compared to that atrocity on mankind, the Peruvian opening is actually quite good. Comes after white goes pawn to d4. We respond pawn to d5. C4 get a queen's gambit. E6 queen's gambit declined. And this is actually a very mainstream opening after like knight c3. We go knight f6. Uh, just defending the center. Bishop pins us and now c5. Uh, I mean, like, this is, like, grandmasters are playing these positions. I never play these Queen's Gambit systems because I just find them too boring, but it is undoubtedly an extremely quality opening. Also, another hot take that isn't a hot take because I am correct, Peru has the best country name, unique, stylish, it's fantastic. Brazilian defense. This one also just sucks. Uh, white goes pawn to e4. We respond pawn to e5. Pretty normal. But then white attacks the pawn. And how do we defend this? Um, not with the knight or with a pawn like any functioning human being. We go queen e7, which is just... just uh, it's, it's, it's horrible. I mean, it's, 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 I could go over the actual reasons why this is bad, but I think that about sums it up. Argentine opening. Now, South America keeps flopping because now we have another, like, grandmaster level opening. Uh, D4, D... I, I mean, there's two moves here. It goes on and on and on. And then in this position, it's the move Bishop H4, which... I, it moves out of sight of the queen. Once again, it's a good opening, but it's at the level where it's genuinely too good, and I am never going to see this or play it. Australian defense. You guys know that conspiracy theory where people say Australia isn't real, it's all like paid actors? I'm starting to believe it because there's no way that any human being has ever invented this. Australian defense is D4, and of, ev of every single movie you can play, Night A6. Get this out of here, this thing sucks. Vietnamese Gambit. You know, it's really unfortunate that these are the openings representing these countries, because these openings are getting bad reputations, and Vietnam is not much better. E45, Knight of 3, Knight C6, pretty normal so far, but now the move B4, which is just, it's just not good. It's, it's just not good. Black takes, we're down a pawn. Why? Uh, C3 here, Bishop backs up. It's like an Evans Gambit, but in the Evans Gambit, this Bishop is already on C4. We have an extra move. And without that Bishop, that Bishop is actually vital to the entire position, because here we can't, we like just can't do anything. We can try to strike in the center of D4, uh, Black just takes. Uh, yeah, we can't even take back because we're pinned. Our position sucks. Uh, Vietnam, unfortunately, 
this sucks. Indian game. Good thing though, this opening is actually fantastic. Uh, comes after d4, and we now play knight to f6. This is Indian game controlling the e4 square of the knight, and this is honestly less of an opening and more like a gateway into a system of billions of openings. In other words, it's very good. Chinese opening. China. China, that, that's that's my Trump impression, if you can tell. Uh, this is another very good opening, though. After e4, d6, pawn to d4, uh, we get a pierce defense, knight out, knight out. And here, we get a, an extremely fun move after bishop e2, bishop g7. This is, like, an extremely standard, like, pierce defense. But here, we play the move g4, which is... It's not objectively the best, but purely on intimidation. If I'm black here and I see g4, I'm going to be scared. And I think it serves that purpose very well because black knows exactly what we're going to do. We're going to start pushing these pawns, going to giant attack, and black can't do anything. So you're basically just laughing at their face. Armenian opening. To any of my Armenian viewers, uh, I apologize because I completely forgot that your country like existed. I don't know why, but that entire kind of like western part of Asia, I just, I don't know anything there um I, yeah i just i cannot seem to remember anything and this opening is also a kind of something i'll forget as well c5 a3 bishop it's it's like some french when we're main line it's back in the bishop up here and like it's it's fine it, it works i guess you should probably trade instead i don't really know what to say it's a fine opening turkish gambit i gotta say turkey is the worst country name the fact they named an entire country after a bird not like a good bird like a measly stupid little bird i i can't even i can't even think about what caused that decision uh the openings are not much better e45 knight of f3 and here now d5 also known as the elephant gambit and it's it's fine you attack the central pawn um it's not the best option white can capture or they can take the other pawn to the knight and either way they're gonna end up surviving but there are still some tricks here russian defense soviet soviet russia bear vodka uh this comes after e4 e5 knight to f3 very standard and here instead of defending the pawn <laughs> instead of defending the pawn uh, we go knight to f6, we counterattack this pawn. This is a very good opening, uh, but it's known for being very drawish because after knight takes here, 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 this is a good opening for us, but it's there's not really any chances for either side. Grandmaster games are like 70% draws from this position, uh, but it is still insanely solid. Israeli gambit. This one comes after we get king's pawn. Uh, we now get pawn to d4 here, black captures, which is a center game, which is not that great, and here we play f4, which is a bit too aggressive, black can play knight c6 here, defend the pawn, uh, but after knight to f3, we can still get our pieces out and get a pretty good game. It's not the best, but still a decent gambit. Icelandic gambit. This is very strong, first we get a Scandinavian defense, white captures, and normally here, you take right back, but here, you go from the modern, move the knight out, and after c4, white tries to really, really cling on to that pawn, you go e6. And after this trade, although you're down a pawn, having two pieces is really, really good. And like, white can try d4, you can get this check, and these are super aggressive positions. This is actually one of my favorite gambits. Norwegian opening. The home of Magnus Carlsen, but unfortunately his opening, it's, it's not that great. Uh, after e4, modern defense, d4. Here, normally, you would play d6 to prevent pawn to e5, but here, you just play knight out anyways, allowing white to play e5, and then knight to h5, which is just very awkward, moving your knight onto the rim of the board. Uh, white can go like bishop e2, and now you're probably forced to drop the knight back to g7, which is, it's just this weird rotation. Now all of your pieces are blocked, and this is, as a result, not very good. Finish opening. I wouldn't say bad, but this is probably the saddest opening. Uh, e4, c6, we get a Carol Khan, and pretty promising. Um, knight here, capture, capture, very standard. Here, the main move is either bishop f5 or knight to f6, but the finish variation is h6 here, which is just... Like, it just doesn't do anything. It's fine, but it just it just doesn't do anything. Latvian Gambit. This is one of the more controversial openings, because after white goes pawn to e4, 
e5, knight out attack the pawn, we don't defend, we play f5 here, attacking like this, now white can capture either pawn, a lot of people say this is a terrible opening, a lot of other people say this is extremely trappy and underrated, I personally think that if you are a beginner intermediate, this is a good opening, you should uh, consider playing it, if you're higher than that though, this is not gonna work out and you should never play it. Lithuanian opening, honestly just a weird opening, uh, d4, uh, but here, knight c6 already, this is not the opening, this is already a weird start, because d5 is kind of annoying here, but now c4, we get e5, just a, a odd position, d5, and now we back the knight up to c, or e7, to block in the bishop, uh, engine says it's fine, and I'm sure it is, we haven't blundered anything, it's just very odd looking. Portuguese opening. Portugal should probably stick to uh, whatever it's doing right now because chess I don't think is its place. E45, bishop b5? It's like you really want to play Rui Lopez but you forgot the only reason it's good is because there's already the knights out and the knight on c6. By playing this first, the black can just like play c6 here. Uh, you have to move the bishop back. Now d5, what's the, what, what was the point of playing this first? There's no point. This is not a good opening. If you want to play bishop b5, play, play the Rui Lopez. Just wait one move. Spanish game. And that's exactly what the next opening is, e4, e5. Don't play it yet. Play the knights out first. And now here. And this is Rui Lopez or Spanish opening. It's simply a better version and good at every single level from beginner to advanced. Um, and Grandmaster and Super Grandmaster, all the ideas with the E5 pawn, the knight, everything. It's a great opening. French opening. One of the classic defenses, white goes pawn to E4, and here you have a couple of good and common moves, and one of them is pawn to E6. Uh, the point is, you're building up the D5 pawn push. There are so many ways this can go, uh, but in all of them, you're going to be getting a very good position. Probably not the easiest to play because you do block in your bishop, but nonetheless, it is still very strong. English opening. This comes on the first move the very standard c4 uh, controlling d5 there are so many ways to go and there are so many ideas for this opening most commonly you'll move uh, g3 and move the bishop out to control d5 even more this is an extremely solid opening extremely fun way to play you can play aggressive solid boom 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 it's good italian game wow i mean what what an opening this is every beginner's paradise including mine e45 knights out now bishop out to c4 i'm like i'm just getting I just, um, I just feel good looking at it. Um, but yeah, it's a great move. You're ready to castle. The bishop puts uh, pressure on f7, allowing a lot of knight g5 ideas. A lot of super aggressive lions uh, come from that. It's also easy to play, good at all levels. This is one of the most well-rounded openings you will see. Polish opening. This is the first move pawn to b4. If you have not seen this before, this looks idiotic. And you can think that at first, but if this objectively is actually quite good because the idea is you can play a3 to defend it then move your bishop out to b2 this is surprisingly solid you already have a lot more queen side space the bishop is going to be a monster later on and you can always play e3 move your pieces out and castle normally and nobody knows how to play against this well so you always have the element of surprise i like this opening a lot if you can't tell and i think you should definitely uh, try playing it hungarian opening this is the move g3 at the very start getting ready to move the bishop out to g2 it's a good option it's probably better to first play Play a move like c4 to prevent uh, d5 now, but still, bishop g2, extremely solid, extremely good, there's nothing wrong with it. Check defense. I'm looking at the list right now, and there are literally eight different openings that are called the check opening. Uh, I'm going to pick the most common one, which is pawn to e4, d6, we start with a pierce, d4, knight out, knight out, very standard, and here we now play the move c6, which is not the best move it doesn't really do anything too useful but it does control d5 b5 and you can potentially move the queen out and what this usually works is you're going to go g6 bishop g7 and just be extremely solid for the whole game and white doesn't really have a way to break through so it's more annoying than it is good austrian defense this is the king of copycat openings d4 d5 c4 c5 uh, I'm sure it works, it's not the most exciting variation, but you're probably not going to get anything much worse than just equality. Romanian opening. Starting move, knight out to c3. It's not bad it moves a knight out, but there are better ways to develop first. 
d5 is kind of annoying, you have to play d4 now, at which point this is playable, but just kind of annoying. Swiss Gambit. Better than it looks, this is pawn to f4 and pawn to f5, which already this is one in like 10,000 games and here you now play e4 sacrificing the pawn it looks stupid but it's actually not that bad because after it captures uh you can play d3 this trade and now black has to deal with a lot of pressure on the um this kind of annoying diagonal here they can move the knight out and defend but knight of three you actually have a pretty good position here you're probably never going to get this position but if you can uh you're probably going to do well greek defense after white goes pawn to e4 you go b6 uh <laughs> it uh it works i don't really know what else to say if you move the bishop out to b7 is it the best way of playing no is it the worst way of playing no. Macedonian Gambit. Last and maybe least, we have interesting opening. Uh, we start off in English, we get pawn e5, very standard, and uh, knight out, knight out, very standard. Here we now get f4 though, which is an interesting move. Uh, after black captures, we do get the center. This is a bit unsafe, although probably win the pawn back, and we're doing quite good here. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe for more.